evening ladies and gentlemen i'm meety69 welcome back to the channel dry your eyes mate dry your eyes uh because you're gonna need to dry your eyes after you see these two battles now we're gonna start off with a proper heartbreak in a death star and then we're gonna end in a the t100 now we're watching a double death star uh ooh, uh, ooh, his name's Ooh95. Uh, ooh95 uh, and, and then the rest I can't see. But this game, I felt so sorry for him. I've watched it and I just I, I almost cried. I almost cried. It's like I had to I was with the family and I, my eyes started watering and the wife was like, Are you crying? I was like, just just something in my eye. I've just got something in my eye. And uh, yeah, it's it's uh they they done well. They done well, but obviously sometimes one mistake is all it takes to mess things up. Now, of course, with the Death Star, it's only good for that alpha damage. Now, this game here, he is against two amazing players, Wise and Whoopsie. Whoopsie, one of my good friends, one of my longtime friends uh, in this game, and of course, both of them are fantastic players. In currently, which is one of the best clans in EU at the moment, these two are not the two you really. really who do you want to come up against so to do the damage that our guy here does in a death star against these two players fantastic so so far he's had two shots two incredible he shots and that is 2800 damage done already with just two shots of course they are a tank down they are a medium tank down and they've still got seven or now six there goes the e75 which uh, our guy managed to get that juicy he into earlier um, and of course they do have a lot of tanks in front of him now he's trying to get the shot and unfortunately only bounces there on the mouse the mouse just turned at the last second of course with it being wise he knows how to play the mouse these guys know how to play these tanks and you can just see him angling and just making it awkward and hard for the enemy team or he's or our team here to deal with so so far still only 2.8k damage and just look at the angles but here's the death star and a nice shot here there in the death star bit of a mistake there from uh, whoopsie uh, but at the minute I don't think they care about the mistakes because it's now a three versus six. A three versus six. Our guy has got still uh, 3.7k damage. He's managed to block a shot actually, which is quite nice. And Wise is now going to come out sideways and feel the heat. Now, um, tank dude, not good dude. Not good. There's no reason for that. Of course, this could go into the the world of dummies if you uh, if you like as well. Uh, so yeah, why, I don't get why people do that. I don't get why people have to rage like that and call people the n-word just because their team's not performing like there was no reason for it and in fact this comes down to the wire so uh, there was no reason for the rage whatsoever so so far now it is a two versus three two versus three he is now a one shot he needs to clear this budgetto he has to clear him and he does just that but he is now wow a nice amarak there from the enemy death star uh, so it is a one versus two a one versus two him a one shot versus two t uh, tank destroyers the fosh and of course the death star however he is reloaded he's on 6.9k damage and he's just going to wait for the opportunity there's the death star and he does clear him so he's on three kills now and 7.5k damage and here comes the fosh now the fosh is a fantastic tier nine it really is a fantastic tank with great dpm uh, but it is also very very weak if this guy comes out to the side of him he could one shot him just with one hash but he's not going to risk it he's going to go for the ap he's going to go for the uh, the track wheel and he's going to track him that gives him time just to get around this corner and i love what he does here he can see that the fosh has just overextended himself not quite sure why the fosh has uh, uh didn't shoot there but 8.4k damage he's now reloaded he's got to get this shot he has to get this shot uh, i'm not even sh just shoot right now shoot now i don't know why he done what he did but he bounced oh my god he bounced how heartbreaking is that that cost him nine thousand damage against two of the best players in eu uh, but nevertheless a fantastic game just very very unfortunate with that final shot i'm not sure why he didn't take it earlier um 
it's easy for us to sit here and say shoot but when you're on 8.4k damage and you're almost pulling off an impossible win um you're shaking some people shake some people their heart uh, their heart gets quicker um their heart rate gets quicker and it's uh, they start panicking and making the mistakes but still uh, 8,500 damage against two of the best players in EU is still a fantastic achievement. Next up, we are watching Anda. Anda from the Pink Clan driving the T100 Lite. Now, if you thought that was uh, a bit of a heartbreaking game, uh, yeah, you, you haven't quite seen this one yet. This one, again, made me cry. It really did make me cry. And you definitely, after, if you didn't cry after the first battle, I think you're going to cry and you're going to have to dry your eyes after this game. So Port Bay, of course, he is going to the left side. Now, there's two medium tanks or two light tanks on his team versus one light tank on the enemy team. So he is doing what he should be doing and crossing that river just to try and take hold of this side of the map. And, of course, the Vickers Light is there as well. Now, his team are behind. His light tank, uh, his light tank is behind. So if his light tank pushes with him, they can sort this uh, Vickers out very, very quickly. But, of course, he is spotted and he does have to pay attention because there is no other tank spotted at the moment so we don't know where they are they could be in that corner just waiting for the opportunity to farm these guys and because with the free tank destroyers as well you can get obliterated and now the tanks have started to be open uh, but at the moment there is only the t30 where is the rest of the tanks we don't know but clearing this vickers light is an absolute must because that is the spotting gone that is the spotting gone so these two light tanks in this corner could literally just farm away but of course now that there is a heavy tank the de uh, the death star is now spotted uh, the, the vickers is gone on his team so he is now in this corner on his own uh, but if you look at the mini map the enemy are all over the place they're literally all over the place but he ne definitely definitely needs to start clearing uh, uh, the death star is one of them because he's a really dangerous target and of course the vickers light because the vickers is keeping him spotted uh, but with the dpm of the t1 uh, t100 he is just able to farm these guys farm these heavies and make and the td and just make them go back into cover of course the t30 is just uh, he wants to be the hero he's just like guys i've got this i have this but yeah he's He's just losing all of his hit points for no reason whatsoever and the Vickers is not even trying to attempt to ta attack he's lost all of his hit points he's a one shot and there's really not much he can do now the t30 has just shot so he does need to back up and try to take care of him but of course the death star is not spotted at the moment so we don't know if he's looking um but now definitely the well i was going to say the vickers needs to be taken care of the t57 uh, does that and now it is three he's managed to farm up 3.3k at the moment absolutely incredible but here comes the enemy team so that he needs to make the choice does he move or does he stay here uh, what side does he shoot? Does he shoot the right side or does he shoot the left side? Because we know that the VK is there. We know that there is a Death Star there as well. But the other three tanks are all this side of the map. So I definitely think he needs to start rushing towards the left side to take care of the uh, the Death Star and the VK. Uh, but at the moment, he's in a safe position. He's able to farm damage and he's not really getting shot in return. And doing this, staying here, he does have either side to deal with. If he hasn't got a shot on the right side, he can go on the left side but now his team has just fallen apart just fallen apart they've just literally vanished and it only leaves him and the waffle but of course with the waffle having no uh, armor he dies very very quickly so for a short period it was a one versus five he does take care of the waffle and again he's just waiting he's just staying here he's farmed up 5.8k damage so far um but if he just stays there they are all going to go to him together and of course when they all push together it's not going to be good in that situation so he's done the right move here he's still got three and a half minutes left on the clock he has time to run away and what he really needs to do is split these guys up however even if he dies at this point to be honest 6.2k damage is amazing uh, and especially in the situation he was in i love that little dodge there as well from the death star and that just buys him more time so he has to right now he has to split these guys up at least there is no mediums they're all heavies and they're pretty much all slow so the only thing the heavies can actually do right now is to go and cap they should be going to cap uh, but he's still able to get these shots off unfortunately doesn't quite get the shot off on the vk 
uh, but now the enemy are capping so we know uh, where two is and now we know where one other tank is because he is capping the base so he's just going to double back on himself he's going to double back on himself he's going to able to get a side shot there into the death star and then he's going to move on he's probably going to be spotted no he's not even spotted at that so that is uh, a bonus for him uh, so he really has to clear this death star right now he's a two shot but unfortunately he does bounce which is very very unfortunate but he's still not been spotted so he's just going to again relocate into a different position and then he's going to get that shot on the death star and again he's going to move on and but now he is spotted and look at that all three tanks looking at him three tanks there all staring at him and he has just lost almost all of his hit points was that worth it probably not and that ultimately uh, ultimately may have just cost him the game but he's brought it down now to a one versus three again he's uh, he's unspotted he gets that shot and i love the fact that every time he does take a shot and gets spotted he just wants to relocate and even if he's not spotted he relocates because the enemy know where they've just been shot from so if they're not if they don't spot the tank automatically they're going to focus on the place where they've just been shot so for, for him to relocate every single time he shoots is absolutely fantastic and so far he's managed to farm up 8,000 damage and again he's got the bush here uh he's uh manages to block that shot from the vk and he's going to try and go with the he i probably wouldn't have gone with the he right then because he had the side of that guy he had the side of that guy but he still went for the he and here comes the isa and he gets a very very lucky bounce into that uh, from that isa and now hopefully with his dpm he should be able to clear this guy he's brought him down to a one shot that was a bit of a low roll 230 but with the speed and the mobility of the tank no chance there for the the ISA so now he needs to reset his camo he has to reset his camo he's on 9.4 K damage and there is only 50 seconds left on the clock if he's gonna do something he has to do it now and I love the fact that he went to go one way but then he changed his mind to go the other way so these two tanks will think he's coming from the other direction and just look at that he has them but he's just taking his time he needed to take that shot out very very quickly but he could have reloaded his second shell by now so that was a bit of a mistake there trying to get the gun depression and that ultimately again that has cost him the the opportunity to to take that guy out so 9.7k damage and with just 19 or 16 seconds left on the clock both of these tanks are a one shot so if he was to push very if he would have pushed five seconds ago it may have been enough but with just six seconds left on the clock he knows he can't do it but he's going to go for the kill uh um, what a big game that was a massive game and this is what i mean one mistake one mistake could change the outcome of the game and that one big mistake was to lose all them hit points just to get one shot if he would have had his hit points that he didn't lose from them guys he would have been able just to rush in at the end when he did take care of them guys and had plenty of time left but 9.7k damage with 2000 dpm is absolutely incredible but we still need to dry our eyes after watching that so i hope you guys enjoyed it i'm midzy 69 and i will catch you all soon bye bye